Palestinian embroidery is the focal point of inspirations in our work. Embroidery for us is a craft evoking spirits of times past. Not only the beauty and the geometry, we found that there was a lot of untold stories that we would like to tell. Naqsh in Arabic, it means to engrave. And Naqsh was the very first form of human engravings on stone to communicate, to leave a mark, to tell a story. And this is where we want to actually create a code, a universal code with what we do for every person to relate to. We want to make a universal language behind it. We were surprised while searching and researching about Palestinian motifs, how women used to deal with different motifs and coding their lives and decoding their status. For example, like a widow would have a different colored dress than the single woman. The old woman would have a different thobes than the younger ones. And they used to talk about their environment through different shapes, different motifs carrying these motifs or inspired from their flora and fiona around them. On a personal level, there was a lot of unlived moments that we would love to live. For example, the leap of faith, the artwork that we did for Akka. Akka is known for the high uh, wall overlooking the, the sea. The youngsters would jump off the cliff and go back to their moms saying that I'm a man on my own, I, am, I can now take my life decisions. And this is something we would love to, to have witnessed or lived or done. Recreating this moment in the way we see it in, in our way of tatris and, and craft, it gives us some kind of a satisfaction that we are actually reliving these moments or living it on a personal level. While going through the documented books of embroidery, we saw the potentials of embroidery being taken to another world, like the, th the 3D world. We've always wanted to do different media than the, the thread and the textile. As an architect, I saw huge potential in the material I'm experimenting with. Brass, stone, wood, iron, steel, all kind of different material. Experimenting with brass allowed us to have this everlasting feel when we choose material not relevant to embroidery, we think that we're giving it an edge, we're giving it a different lifespan. Working as sisters, where also our third sister, Shirin, supports us, is not an issue. Being in Dubai and Nasreen in Amman, where my inspirations are different from what she is exposed to, I would see something and share it with Nasreen from a different perspective she wouldn't know of. Since we started, it has been this way.